Hey y'all, it's Casey and I am here by myself today. Just to update, we no longer have roommates, so I will probably be doing the videos pretty much by myself. Nick will be in here occasionally. It's kind of hard to meet his hours with my hours. Um, the best we could probably do is weekends of videotaping because I do plan on doing some videos with him and us have some talk videos, um, which I'm really excited about. We just have to plan out a right time to do it. Excuse the mess back here. We are planning on selling some stuff soon and the, d the stressor is one of them. Um, we've been organizing and everything. So I feel like this is pretty much going to be my film room, but I, like I said, I have a lot of organizing I have to do. Um, I guess really the only thing set up is my vanity that my father-in-law and my mother-in-law bought me. And it is so beautiful and I was so excited about it. But I'm in love with my dresser. I absolutely love the flower floral pa pattern of the chair. That's what I'm sitting on right now. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's so beautiful. <laughs> I'm so thankful. It was a complete surprise. Like, they were just like, hey, we got you something and showed up with it. And I was like, okay, awesome. One of the things I wanted to talk about is we are getting a new family member added to the Howard household and I'm not gonna tell you what it is at the moment um I'm supposed to be getting him today today is June 1st um so I'll probably upload this video a few days later to be honest Nick doesn't even know but it's fine I can take care of it it's inexpensive like I'm like I'm not worried about it so very excited about that and I had the names picked out I will just say those later um whenever I get him or her another update so my husband Nicholas he has his own website which I just want to like what is it promote is that is that what it is promoting <laughs> I don't know <laughs> um I just want to advertise I really guys bear with me it's called heartgains.com he has an Instagram page to go with it it's really good stuff guys <laughs> if you like working out and if you love Jesus this is the perfect combination for you so on his Instagram page it was just him putting writing his workouts down on a whiteboard and then putting a verse down at the bottom um, and then you know commenting what a comment so I will leave a link yeah I'll leave a link down below um so y'all can check that out if you're interested um and then his website goes along with his Instagram page so with his website he just makes t-shirts um that correlates with working out and Jesus so super excited about that he's been working on it and I'm so proud of him he is very creative and I just I'm very proud of him and I will be helping him as much as I can I don't know too much about it um I just know to support him and do y'all hear them okay so another thing I wanted to talk about was my gym progress so i've been working out since i was 16 years old so when i started working out i was 100 pounds and i'm gonna say somewhere within two years or that year of me working out i got up to 123 now later on down the road um i got extremely stressed out involved myself with things other than the gym and i wasn't focusing on myself or the gym and i went back down to around 105 110 and i kind of been stuck in that area for a while i've never been great at eating the right things to help me gain muscle and more weight but since i have moved I have gotten a lot better. Nick has helped me a tremendous amount. So I've been meal prepping, 
eating. As of right now, I'm not necessarily gaining weight. I am getting a lot stronger and a lot more toned. So an example, I did the hack slide squat machine. If you don't know what that is, you can look it up. <laughs> About two months ago, two or three months ago, I could barely get the thing itself um, up. I struggled a lot. Nick can vouch for that. He was there. He'd be, you know, like making sure my form's right, helping me get it up. About a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, no, I'm going to backtrack a little further, a month and a half ago maybe, I added 10 pounds to it. 10 pounds on each side, so 20 I guess, and I was able to get that up. So I was like, cool, I will try to see how far I can go the next time I do this. So within that period, I had gotten extremely sick. I guess I got a stomach bug and I just, it was awful. I could not hold anything down. It was just a 24 hour um, thing, if that, if 24 hours, but anything that was going down was coming right back up, including water. So I just felt extremely weak. I felt like I lost all my gains in that like 12 to 24 hour period. A few weeks after I was extremely sick and some other things were going on so I wasn't able to 100% focus on the gym or myself but I went back to the hack slide squats I put 10 pounds on each side I got those up here I was like okay those felt pretty good so I'll go ahead and add five more to each side so it's 30 all together and I was like okay that also felt pretty good let me keep going and guys, I got all the way up to 35s on each side. And that just like blew my mind. I, like I'm serious, I blew my own mind. I texted my sister. I texted one of my good friends. Um, I told my husband about it. <laughs> I was just super stoked about it and super proud of myself. Like, cause two, three months prior, I was struggling just to get the hack slide machine up by itself with no weights added. This last time, probably like a week ago, week and a half ago, I did it again and I got 45s on each side up. And I'm just extremely proud of myself and I haven't gained weight <laughs> like I want. I've always been a lifter. I've never been a cardio person or running. To be honest, you would think like I'd be decent at cardio, but guys, I struggle at a minute and 30 seconds. Like I gotta push myself to get to two minutes. That's bad. I don't know if it's just because like I need to work on it more or if there's like something wrong. I don't know. Like I've been telling myself I'm gonna start working on it to push myself and get my cardio better. Um, and I haven't 100% stuck with that. I just, it's never been part of my workout routine. So I, um, I just forget. And I don't plan on doing it a lot. I at least plan on getting, hoping to like, this sounds so bad. I want to get to at least five minutes without struggling. I don't want to run too much because I'm not trying to lean out. Like I'm already lean. I'm already like toning up like, I want to get bigger muscular. I will video our new family member later um, when I get him today and show you guys. And I'm so excited. <laughs> Don't forget, check out the links below. Check out my husband's website. It's awesome and amazing. And you know, if it's not your thing, it's not your thing. It's not for everybody, but I am proud of him. He's doing awesome things. So if you don't mind, give it a look. And all right, see you guys next time. Um, but we got our new family member and I'm so excited to show you guys. Um, still don't know if he's a boy or a girl. I don't know if you can see him through that. Come here. <laughs> um, my friend, found him on the road and she stopped really really quickly i have no idea how she saw him he's so tiny he's like two quarters put together he's super super tiny okay but i'm checking if it's a girl or a boy right now mm, 
I think it might be a girl. I thought it was a boy, but I, I'm gonna have to double check for sure. But looking at the tail, I was thinking maybe it was a boy, but looking on its belly, it makes me think that maybe it's a girl. So when I do a little bit more research and double checking, I, the name will either be Sanch for a boy or Ivy for a girl. So super excited and if I can't pinpoint if it is a girl or boy, I might just name it Sanch. This is what I have him in right now. Hello, husband. Hello, wife. <laughs> I've been looking on Pinterest for um, do-it-yourself <laughs> turtle aquarium thing. So I'm gonna make something outside and then I do have a turtle tank, fish tank at my mom's house that I'm gonna have to get and I'm gonna do some stuff and I'm just gonna spoil this turtle and we'll see how that goes. So, but as of right now, he's gonna stay in this. Um, I might switch him over to something else, but if anything, it'll be a week and I'll start working on his outside playground thing he's going to have going on. So I think it actually might be a girl. I don't know if you heard me, mm -hmm. but cause like these bottom lines down here for a girl are normally straight and then the guys are more like wavy-ish. So. Yeah, so it might be a girl. I don't know. Um, I used to have a turtle though, just like this one, red-eared, whatever. I just remember the red-eared part. But it was that size when I got it, and then he grew to be this big, bigger, as big as both of my hands put together. And we just didn't have any more room for him, so we gave him to somebody that had a very big tank and that's that's what we did is we gave him to somebody who had a bigger place for him so the aquarium I have isn't incredibly big but it's a good size for this size turtle right now and probably like a year from now it'll be good size of a tank and what we did for my last turtle is we bought a kiddie pool and filled it with water and put him in there during the summer and that's how he grew so big because I've heard that the bigger you put them in they're gonna grow to that size that's what I've heard I might be wrong and I might sound stupid but that's what I've heard but yeah super excited and Nick and I are gonna go to the gym now and yeah okay bye guys thanks for watching